Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11. Excuse me, of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood Wars. It's gotta get started in 3, 2, 1. Hold on, 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Do not mind, I am tired. I got off of work like two hours ago. I'm tired. I would like to go to sleep. purpose in the manga. I really don't. True. Because mm, you know, Ichigo is different. That too. And the truth about his mom and dad and such. Well, more of his mom than his dad. But, I mean, because see, here, here's the thing, like, Didn't he find out during the Fullbringers arc? I mean, we, okay, we as the audience, we knew for, like, the longest time about his dad. So, especially when Uryu's dad came in. And so we knew that there was something between Uryu's dad and Ichigo's dad, but we just didn't know what it was and such. And then, you know, if you, <laughs> like me, if you were like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go read the manga, you, know, you learn everything from there. But now, like, it, it is weird that we are finally getting into this story between the three of them today and how tragic it is and such because it, it's a really sad story like damn I, I remember like when I first read it um I do kind of remember myself crying towards the end of it because it it's so good but it's just so sad and you're just like damn like oh but it's so good tragic yet sweet very sorrow but sweet Oh, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work the rest of this fucking week. Oh my god. Oh, and I still have other things to do. I can't even believe this is ending next week. God damn. Oh, damn. Is right. Hmm? 
That's strange. Oh! <laughs> No, was it a problem? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he left it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, damn, he hate her everything. Damn, daddy. <laughs> Well, you about to know. Oh my god. Look at her. Is that wrong, Giku? Special meme. Which is reckless, of course, but you know how you know him. Ah, uh, yes. I am. 
Give Oh, well, y'all about to die on a cloudy day. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Sorry, I that I mean because it sounds like her. Oh. Everything you're just sweet, and plus, you care about her, you love her. I mean, we all knew that it was very obvious, but you know. So then, okay, hold up, time up. Because they never really answered on, like, is Udi was on the maid? You know, I'll have to do research after. Because they never answered that.
I would have just snuck out the dang window. I mean, because then she wouldn't have to worry about having a conversation with him. Well, so since it died, why don't we go help? Mm -hmm. That means it's too fucking OP. You can't handle it by yourself. Emergency! Fucking eyes on my eyes and his sexy bitch ass. Like, ah. I mean, hold up, like, <laughs> it should, you know how OP that thing is? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think they're going to show that one part from today. Yeah, but you're going to tell them. We, we all know. So 
silly. Yeah, I guess you know we can't talk about that. Of course you would end the episode. Okay. To finally see just part one of this animated, like, oh my god. That means, oh man, that means, that means that is just going to happen. That means we're officially going to get the, well, the continuing backstory of these three. And then also that is going to be the first time where both Ishin and Urahara are also going to meet for the first time. And this situation that is going to happen um, to Misaki and such, which that's when it gets sad and shit, because oof, it is sad because what, once you learn the truth about what also happened, and not not the reason of why she died, because we all know what the big reason was and such, um, but the other other thing that anime onlys will find out next week in the last two episodes. It, it makes you, it does make you look at everything completely different. You're like, damn. Damn. So I can't really say what I want to say until next week. But to see these two and, and you know, also Uryu's dad and their story playing out and just, oh, uh, it, it feels nice. It feels good. I'm happy. But, like, at the same time, I'm over here, like, I'm not ready to see next week because it's such a tragic moment for all three of them and it hurts like oh my god of course we're not done with the episode of course who do you want next week to come so bad I don't want it to come next week no literally seeing them together like oh that ending <laughs> of course my husband and Uryu are out together and, it's, and you know now Uryu's gonna go with him oh shit this changes everything well I mean as someone who's read this like still it changes everything but still like uh also seeing seeing Kaname and Gein like animated in the new art style like oh it just you, I'm torn because even though it's in the past you kind of wish that they were still alive but no <laughs> like it sucks like and that's the one thing that I hate about shows in general where it's like when we do a flashback episode and like characters who are dead they're alive only really for this episode it completely sucks because you're like oh you want to know how they're doing but then you remember they're dead yeah great but yeah I mean like that it really truly doesn't really answer like the question on like Udi's mom so it is the main Uriel's mom like it, that that's something that even in the manga was answered and so it, it is a little curious and such because we only know about Uriel's grandfather who is his master 
and then his dad we never knew about his mom and such with, with the same thing it was kind of the same thing with Ichigo until we finally got um an episode focusing on his mom and then also this and you know everything else was coming mm, yeah I can't talk about that yet just shut up <laughs> but yeah it was a very sweet episode very like in my in my mind I was crying like uh, inside I was crying, even though I was just, like, over here, just, like, let me be chill and such. But just seeing those two together, like, oh, my God, it warmed my heart a lot. Like, oh, so good. But I, I cannot wait for next week, even though it's the last two episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 11 of Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood War. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys on Monday. Um... So the situation is, uh, of course, I have to go back to work on Monday. So um, I think just with this one, because I still have some uh, two more shows to watch after this. Um, of course, this is coming out tomorrow, Tuesday morning. So I think also, depending on what time I have to go on Monday as well, um, I'm just going to set the last two episodes for Tuesday. I hate to say that, but... I know I'm not coming home until late, and then I have to get some other things done before I can start this. It's just, ugh, ugh, and it sucks. But <laughs> until then, I will see you guys all either next Monday or Tuesday. But bye, guys.